Tanzania, a country in the east of Africa, that has a lot to offer. When you travel to this country, you can really take a time out and enjoy everything you experience during your visit. The giant volcano of Mount Kilimanjaro in the north. The history and culture of the island of Zanzibar. And of course the Serengeti National Park, where lions can block the road whenever they want. But you can also meet members of the Maasai, one of the 120 different tribes living in this country. During our trip, we will visit some less explored areas in the southern part of Tanzania, with the highlights being the Nureri National Park and the ruins on the island of Kilwa. But our tour starts in the country's largest city, Dar es Salaam. Here we will visit the 7th edition of the Swahili International Tourism Expo, which connects providers from all the travel destinations in the Tanzanian tourism sector, with buyers from all over the world. Swahili International Tourism Expo is very important for Tanzania, because it promotes our inbound and outward tourism. It's a good platform for tourism when it comes to tourism development. First site matches, it's a, it's a platform for stakeholders from the international buyers and exhibitors or local operators meeting together and discuss business. But also it's a good platform for those buyers to be able to go and promote destination Tanzania. In this site, what we plan is to um, take those international buyers to go to our different attraction in this country. The Minister of Tourism explains us why it's important to give a selected group of visitors to the expo the chance to experience some of the destinations themselves. See and hear firsthand what are the business and investment opportunities that are available in Tanzania that Tanzania has to offer in the tourism sector but also to see what are the other touristic attractions that are available in Tanzania, be it in the beach tourism, be it in sport tourism, be it in conference tourism, be it in culinary tourism or food tourism, but also cultural tourism, uh, cruise ship tourism, and the other many, many fronts towards tourism. I'm an app developer based in uh, Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, and we built an app called Go Here Tanzania. It's written down here. So as a uh, lodge, you can get your own app with your re recommendations uh, for your guests. You can book directly a balloon flight or something like that. Expo and are heading to the south of the country. After an hour's drive, we stop at the Pugu Forest Reserve. This reserve is located in an area which is considered to be one of the oldest forests in the world. And it's also known as the Lungs of Dar es Salaam. It's the only area where you can find the Tanzanian grasshopper and a number of other unique plants and animal species. But before we try to find the grasshopper, with the colors of the Tanzanian flag, we will listen to some music.
on the lake in the park can be canoed, and the area is very suitable for hiking. The reserve is named after a climbing plant, which can only be found here in this park. Our reserve, Pugukasi Mzumbi, came from this plant because it's one of the endemic plant species. You can't find this plant in any other reserve in the world. We have three species of monkeys. We have black and white colobus monkey, vervet monkey, and blue monkey. But when we see them, they will actually run because they are very shy. They have their own characters. Also, the Tanzanian grasshopper must have been a bit shy today because we didn't see one during our stay. But our next destination will give us plenty of opportunities and we can spot a lot of different wildlife. We are heading to the Nirari National Park where we will stay overnight in an accommodation overlooking the mighty Rufiji River. We were lucky because from our balcony we were able to spot a couple of hippos on the banks of the river. Next morning, we wake up early. We are very excited, especially after the ranger tells us what animals we can expect. A lion, a zebra, a buffalo, elephant, and a leopard. Let's go. And yes, we saw the leopard, but also a magnificent, 2,000-year-old Biobab tree. The Nirari National Park granted the national park status only recently. Before that, the wildlife were suppressed by hunting. So we are expecting the number of wildlife to boom because the area is huge, the food is plenty, and no hunting. So we are going to have a huge number of wildlife in this area. No more hunting for pleasure within this area. Good news for this hippo and all the other animals in this reserve. Unfortunately, our car safari has ended. But we will continue our tour and a boat will take us up to the river. But not before we capture the moment with this fantastic background behind us. We leave the Nirari National Park and are heading to Kilwa, the last destination of our tour. Here we are going to visit the ruins of Kilwa Island, designated by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Kilwa Kizawani was the most important trading center on the East African coast, and its ruins include a number of mosques, a well-preserved fortress, and the remainings of a great palace, once the domain of a Persian prince. Tradeware was gold, ivory, and men, women, and children who were captured and sold as slaves. We are coming ashore and enter a little village. People over here are depending on fishing, but also coconuts are a main source of income. 
leaves of the coconut palm tree are used to construct the houses. We continue and follow our local guide. He will take us back in time for almost 1100 years. These were built by the Persians and Arabs who came here 950. This was the center of it whereby slave trade, ivory trade, and gold trade was conducted here. So they were taken from here to the Far East and everywhere. But they used to keep them here for some time before transportation. Once this place was the cruel hub of the transatlantic slave trade. Now it's where history echoes through stone remainings of a time that has passed by. It has left a mark on Kilwa's heritage, but it's this past that helped to shape the nation. Our journey through Tanzania came to an end, but the faces and stories of the beautiful people we met created memories that will last a lifetime. Thank you.